Yeah, I think there, there was a time when, when uh, everybody uh, was taught not to ever use the word I in a sermon. Uh, and I think that that has radically changed and it may have gone too far in the other direction. Uh, I think that our own lives are really important resources for preaching. I mean, it's often in our own experiences that we have sensed the presence of God or the absence of God. And uh, to talk about both of those things, I think, is important. Sometimes it's a simple thing. Uh, it's as simple a thing as being intentional about if you have a long story about yourself, uh, at some point in that story, you can say something like, maybe this has also happened to you. I mean, it's, that is so simple. And it, you almost don't even think it would make any difference. But I guess I hear too many sermons that have a lot of personal stories that never turn toward the congregation to really directly engage them in some way. And I, I think that we also have to realize that our experience isn't completely unique. I mean, if we have had a deep sense of uh, failure, uh, there are people in the congregation who have also had a deep sense of failure. And if I can make that real through my own experience, I think a person will connect with that. We're not complete like aliens from outer space, you know, as preachers. I mean, we, we've had a lot of the same experiences that, that other people have. I think it's a terrible thing if we tell stories about ourselves where we are always the heroes. Uh, I mean, I think sometimes it's much more effective to talk about a, a place in our lives where things didn't go so well or we, where we made a mistake or where we said a racist remark that we couldn't take back. You know, I think... Uh, if we're always the sort of good Samaritan on the road, then I think people will be discouraged. They'll think, you know, well, I can never be like my pastor.